month, everybody. It's your boy, Most Box over here. I've got some great news for you today. Um, if you've been a long time Nintendo fan, you might really like this. Yesterday, N um, Nintendo held a special press announcement in Tokyo announcing their latest console, the Nintendo Switch. Now, it's not the first time we've seen this console. Just a few months ago in October, we got a peek at the console through an introductory video um, that you can pretty much watch on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below. And now Nintendo has been in the news lately a lot for the last couple of months with the launch of uh, uh, Super Mario Run and uh, coming to mobile as well as the Nintendo Classic Edition, which is really great though because it brings back some of my childhood memories. Nintendo has a long history of uh, many successful game consoles from the Nintendo NES to the uh, Game Boy and to some of the later editions of the Wii and the Wii U consoles. Now this is the company's next step in gaming, uh, introducing the Nintendo Switch. Although no announcements were made for the African region, the console will be available March 3rd in Japan, US, Canada and other major European countries at a recommended retail price of just $299. Now it sounds like a lot of money for a console that has no history, but there is a lot that you are getting with it. When you look at the console, it gives you that bridge between portability and utilizing the same console on your TV. This is not the case with the Switch. With four playing styles, TV mode, which you can simply just dock in and you are ready to play on your TV, handheld mode, which you can use to be portable, and you can also connect to local and network online multiplayer, and then you've got the uh, uh, the fourth one which allows you to dock it on your table actually. Because highlights that were noted at the announcement in Tokyo were the introduction of the new Joy-Con remotes, which have the built-in sensors and a new HD rumble sensor which allows for this new form of gaming. These little remotes which fit in either side of your console are detachable when you play with others or when docking it will allow you the ability to be more interactive by taking away from being a one-person gamer. What I really like about the Switch is that it really focuses on the fun aspect about gaming. Now the Joy-Con remote will come in two color variants, neon blue and neon red. Some of the games that you can expect on the console will be games like 1-2 Switch, um, on Super Mario Odyssey, and get this, for the FIFA fans, we have announced a version of FIFA for the Switch console. Get this, unlike previous Nintendo consoles, it will not be region locked, so you can buy your games from anywhere and they will work. Um, I'm not too sure if this is a rebirth of the Wii console, but it certainly does pack the technology of all the Nintendo consoles in one neat and nifty product. I can't wait to actually get my hands on one of these consoles, I'm so excited. You'll be able to purchase the Switch in two configurations, one with grey joint con remote and the other with the blue and red neon configuration. A pro version remote will be available for purchase separately. Thanks so much for watching guys, please let me know um, what you think of the console and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment box below. And uh, yeah, if you think it's a great video, please uh, like it, share it and uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel in the box below. Thanks so much guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Cheers.